yesterday's attacks and other things. Some say that he does have time to Muslim extremists. I don't know. Well, reports coming out of Nigeria show the army has stormed the house of top Shia cleric Ibrahim al zakzaki in the country's north, killing many people. The fate of Zakzaki and his wife remains unknown, with some reports saying that he's been arrested by the Nigerian troops. But the second in command of the leader of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, Sheikh Mohammed Touri, and the group's spokesman are confirmed to have been killed. The army torched parts of the cleric's residence and partly destroyed it using explosives. December 12, 2015. Nigerian soldiers raid the home of a Shia cleric in Zaria. The attack quickly turns into carnage as soldiers open fire on civilians. I had a telephonic conversation with um, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Zakzaki. He was in his residence. As I was speaking to him, I, can, I could hear the uh, sound of uh, some um, shootings and he was emphasizing that as we are talking now, um, uh, there is, uh, um, uh, they are under the siege and um, um, he was saying from 10, 12 hours before our conversation, the, the siege has started. Um, he said that uh, the Husseinia, which was established by him, was completely destroyed by bombs. Hundreds have killed. The leader is tortured and then arrested. A few days later, Colonel Sani Osman, the Nigerian army spokesman, tells The Guardian that there has been loss of life as a result of the Shia group members blocking roads and not allowing other passers-by to go about their lawful businesses and activities. And there are now uh, estimated at least 1,000 um, deaths. And, uh, you know, the, all the uh, sort of uh, false propaganda and lies which has been unleashed by the government is uh, sort of really is exposed because uh, uh, we have not heard of a single even injury on behalf of on, on, on army side. And that shows that uh, really what the... The movement is saying that they were all on arm and they were shot at. And the casualties and the number of dead and the destruction is actually a testimony to the fact that innocent people were uh, uh, subjected to this sort of barbaric uh, shooting. The cleric, Sheikh Ibrahim Zakzaki, and his wife go missing for days. In late December, Nigerian police admit that they have the Sheikh in custody. Inspired by the Islamic Revolution of Iran in 1979, Sheikh Zakzaki founded Nigeria's Islamic movement in the same year. This movement, to my understanding, uh, started right from about 1979. That was uh, after the Iranian Revolution, because uh, Nigerian society witnessed a lot of uh, influence from that movement in Iran. Revolution means change of mind, change of attitude. People have one set of ideas and they behave in one way and they change those set of ideas and behave in a different way. In other words, you, 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 you change the mind of the man, not that you you take a gun and force him to do one thing. That's no revolution. Revolution is not by force. People voluntarily change. Since then, Sheikh Zakzaki has continued to be persecuted for an endless litany of baseless accusations. What's obvious is that he is an uncompromising advocate of universal human rights. His unwavering support of the Palestinians is a case in point. Muslims in Nigeria are integral part of the Muslims of uh, other parts of the world. So we in this part of the world are not different from the rest. And, and it also shows that we do things uh, uh, according to wisdom and knowledge. In July 2014, 34 members of the Islamic movement were killed by Nigerian forces while celebrating Lord's Day in Zaria. Among them, 
three of Zagzaki's sons. The day is an annual event held on the last Friday of Ramadan to express support for the Palestinians in the occupied territories. Perhaps the main reason Sheikh Zakzaki and his movement have been under attack, especially in recent years, is his opposition to Nigeria's alliances with Saudi Arabia. For Zakzaki, the kingdom should be held accountable for many problems in the region. In September 2015, a stampede in Mecca killed hundreds during the annual pilgrimage of Hajj. While the Saudis tried to put the blame on the pilgrims for the incident, Zaksaki retorted, For the government of Saudi Arabia to blame pilgrims for killing themselves is ridiculous and a form of human degradation, which is also criminal. They are saying this in order to cover up the real cause of the tragedy. Zaksaki blames the Saudis not only for the human disaster in Mecca, but also for many other cases of human misery throughout the Middle East. The Saudi authorities cannot fool the world or exonerate themselves from the heinous crime and monumental tragedy, as the world knows who is killing our brethren in Yemen, Bahrain, Iraq and Syria. Zakzaki's arrest comes as Nigeria is in the process of deepening its diplomatic ties with Saudi Arabia, while the country might join Saudi Arabia in its widely publicized anti-terrorism alliance. Many critics have met the announcement of the Saudi-led anti-terrorism alliance with skepticism, suggesting it's merely another front for spreading Wahhabism, an extremist ideology with its roots in Saudi Arabia that has inspired terrorist groups in the Middle East and North Africa, including Nigeria a country home to one of the most brutal denominations of Wahhabi terrorism, namely Boko Haram. This homegrown African radical faction has claimed to its name more deaths than other bloodthirsty groups like Daesh and Al-Qaeda. To oppose this terrorist group, Sheikh Ibrahim Zakzaki stands tallest with his fervent advocacy for religious freedom. We do not say that everyone should agree with us. We have our own ideas. Not everybody agrees with our own ideas, and we acknowledge that. And we think that uh, what we should do is to have a sort of forum where we uh, exchange views, all right? Rather than say that uh, you, you, you should come and join me, or I should come and join you. You have yours, I have mine, but at least we have with our areas where we agree upon. Let us meet there. The leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria has been highly critical of political corruption, Boko Haram, and the relationship it has with the Nigerian army. We have a status quo, and uh, we are not happy with the status quo. We have challenged it. We say it is, it, uh, it is bad. But for all his statements and condemnations, never has he strayed from his commitment to peace and interfaith harmony. Zakzaki's stand for peace, however, has been rewarded in blood. We will never be silent. There is no way they can think that they can do anything and simply nobody will say anything. And, and never. And this is a, the, uh, they, they make a grievous mistake because they think that it is an, some individuals they will go, they will hunt. They don't understand that it is a sort of belief which has exponents which run into their generations. This rally is to reiterate our solidarity to the Sheikh, that let the government know before they reach to the Sheikh, they have to finish with us first. And everyone also of us here must be ready to sacrifice his life for the sake of the Sheikh. A fire has been lit in Africa, and few seem interested in extinguishing it. 
As for Washington and other Western capitals, their silence speaks volumes about their commitment to the war on terror. While a news blackout on this issue still begs for an answer.